Hey guys, Tap Dog here, and today I'm doing a beginner's guide series on the very last event. It's taken me a very long time. I think it's it's about 20 days for each event and the space in between them. So I am now on the last event, which is the monster event. And um, I wanted to go over that with you guys, talk about it. But before I do, one quick update for you. Chen has written on the boards that there are no packs currently and that they are um, waiting for Apple to approve the new update. It should be updated on Monday or Tuesday. So that's when we'll have new packs in the game. Well, returning packs into the game. All right, with that being said, let's jump in. Uh, I'm going to go over to the event itself. And uh, I'm on my almost my last day. I've got one day left of the event, um, as you can see here. And I'm on tier 27, so I've got tier 27, 28, 29, and 30 to finish. I'll finish those probably tomorrow. You can usually get through about three, um, three tiers per day when you're on the top tiers. So, um, anywho, I just wanted to kind of walk you guys through this and show it to you. So we've got Ella there, and she looks like she's a sad monster or, or not really... Um, wanting to damage things but accidentally hitting things but let's find out her story Ella the terrified monster Ella is always in a state of perpetual fear and anxiety some of her phobias include open spaces rejection germs and squirrels even though she's a monster she terrifies herself more than she terrifies others filled with uncontrollable fear she is trampling the town as she runs away from one fear to the next Stop her before the town is completely destroyed. So she's, you know, as a last boss, like I said, doesn't really make that much sense. I think it would have been better to have um, Xanthar or um, maybe the uh, Vera. One of them would be kind of more of a, a good ending boss. But, you know, it's all right. She's, it's, this could be your last boss and she's just scared and you're trying to help her. That, that's all, you know. But, uh... Let me show you the treasures and then the uh, rewards as well. well. We'll start with the rewards. It's the same as every other one. Most turns you get the coins when you uh, finish a tier. When you get to 5, you get those bronze boosters. When you get to 10, you get a um, gold final form card. At 15 is when you get your silver boosters. At 20 is when you get the monster card. 25 is when you get the gold combo card or gold boosters and then 30 what I'm still trying to get to is the last portal key as a reminder you use portal keys to get treasures so here are those treasures obviously you have Ella there um, which is she's the boss card then you have a bunch of like monster cards here so you can see that um, Ifrit, the swamp monster, Jaeger, Wraith, Sandman, Ziz, Troll, Monster Slayer, Monster Slayer is a really great card, so if you, if you need a card, that's that's a good one to go for. And uh, Frankenstein. Then you've got your four gold final form cards here. Again, on the monster theme, you've got Yeti, Dr. Jekyll, Mummy, and Gorzilla. Then you've got the actual gold combo card itself, Monster. Two of them are available. And finally, you've got your upgrade boosts. So, um... Going back to these final form cards again, Monster Slay is probably the best one you want to go for, and then um, Wraith is pretty good as well, and Jaeger. Those are the, those are the three I see most being used, and then uh, Ella obviously. But um, good good luck getting that one. That's a, that's a tough one to win. All right, so I'm just gonna do three quick battles here, so you guys can get an idea of what it's like to fight Ella, the last boss. As I've said, each time you um, start a new boss, they get slightly more difficult and that's the case as well with Ella so um, I've also gotten slightly more powerful too so it, it's kind of a nice trade-off but you can see she has a lot of health and um, it doesn't go down in two turns like most of the other bosses it does take three turns for sure to beat her each time she has a lot of those um, cards that you saw in the previous hand uh, that she'll use the final form so the Wraith and, and Jaeger and um, any of those cards that she has available to win and again same thing when you beat her you get your coins your experience and then your tier progress so I'll, I'll play another two hands with her just so you can get an idea of what she's like towards the end again this is the last boss you'd face uh, how about dragon rider that's a fun combo oh I might actually kill her in two turns because of yep oh barely but um, 
she had a glass cannon that she used and I had a onyx combo card so those two together makes that happen all right and then one more battle here just so you guys get get an idea of, of her play style and what her cards look like all right what are we gonna do with war mm, so this is gonna be definitely a three turn hand All right, and that should do it. So overall, not super difficult, but she is stronger. If you don't have those Onyx combo cards, I could see it being a challenge. That's why you wanna make sure you're leveling up your cards, getting them um, to level four before you start. Well, at least one of each card to level four before you start all of these guys. And the reason, the main reason why, uh, I've, I've been asked that a few times is um, when you're doing your research, I'll go back to my research right now. Um, the majority of your high-end researches can only occur um, when both the cards that you're researching are level four. So here's an example, Pocket Pet and Wind. Both of these are gonna make a diamond combo. In order to make diamond combos, both Pocket Pet and Wind have to be level four. Um, I'm leveling up Pocket Pet right now because I, um, I had that in my queue. Uh, I just got the monster card, I think yesterday, the day before, so I haven't started researching that yet. But uh, I'm working on Pocket Pet now, probably have another, well, two to four days <laughs> of researching that. Um, as you can see, all of these ones are gonna finish up pretty much in the next few hours here. Um, besides that, let me show you guys how I'm doing in the arena with this deck. And I'll show you the deck as well, someone had asked to see that. Um, but I'm in Masters 3, I've got 900 stars. However, there's a big, big gap between me and the people in front of me, so you can see I've got 909 stars, the people in front of me have 974, so there's about 70 stars or so between us, and then to, in order to get to 100, I don't have it here, but I think it was like 1,200 stars, so I've got a ways to go before I can get to level one, rank 103, which is where you want to be to get in the legendary, which I don't think I'll actually push him to legendary, I want more people in there, but I think Masters is big enough that it's fine for me to be in this one with this second account. But I'll show you guys a fight or two, um, I'm kind of at my limit right now with the cards I have. I'm trying to level them up to have more fusibility. The biggest issues are um, not getting my fuse in three turns and the other person getting it in three turns. And then my other thing is not having my final form card. So thankfully, it looks like this turn I'm gonna be able to actually win. Um, it doesn't always happen that way, but I had a really good hand that time. And you'll, you'll notice that you'll, you'll, um, don't be discouraged if you get to a spot where you, you just can't keep, keep going forward. You get stuck because the other people have a better deck than you. That should just tell you, okay, this is my limit right now, but it's going to change when I get more combo cards or when I level up these cards or when I fuse these cards. So don't be discouraged. Just know that that person's a little bit, uh, been playing longer than you. Um, you get to a point where I'm at now and even though my main account is ranked number two, the guy in front of me has several hundred, well, I'll show you guys. Let's go to the worldwide. Jokovic here, he's got 5,700 stars. I've got almost 5,300 stars. So there's 400 stars between us, which we get five stars per turn. So you're looking at 20, 40, 60, 80. He has 80 more uh, wins ahead of me. So I'd have to win 80 more times and he'd have to to not play <laughs> in order for me to catch up to him. So it's kind of crazy. Uh, so don't be discouraged by that. Uh, but the same could be said for the guys underneath me. They have about 5,000 stars, I'm at 5,300. So again, there's about 60 wins between us that they'd have to win in order to catch up to me. Uh, speaking of other fun news, you'll notice in the top corner, season, end, season ends in nine days. So what does that mean? Uh, for those of you guys who are new, um, you get your weekly rewards, which is this weekly section here, and depending on what rank you are, you'll get some dark orbs and potentially some um, fragment pieces. And as you get higher, you can see you get more. So I get, on my main account, 400 orbs per week and 25 fragment pieces. But there's also the season tab. So the season only happens every, one, every 110 days, and um, you get slightly better rewards. So you see it's 45 gems for my current ranking, and then you also get 65 puzzle pieces, or puzzle pieces, sorry, fragment pieces. Um, on the top end, 
I'm in rank two right now, so I'm gonna get 135 gens and 180 puzzle pieces, or fragment pieces. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. That usually means I'll have another one of my cards level up um, one of my uh, Onyx fragment final forms. Also, this is probably the time where you'll get one of your um, Onyx final forms to level up to level one and be usable. Um, it actually might be useful in your heroics. I would say hold off and adding it to your arena until it's at least level three, but probably level four is when you'd want to add it to your um, heroics. Um, and just to put that into perspective, I don't have a single card that's level three or level four from the final frag, uh, from the final forms in my main deck. So it'll take a long, long time to get to that point. Uh, final bit of news for you guys. I've told you guys on the live stream, but I'll put it on here too. Uh, when this season ends, I'm going to pull back a little bit on Tap Dog, not play as much. Uh, I want more people to, to get into those top 10, top 20 spots. So I still will be playing, I'll play every day, but I'll be reducing the amount I play um, just because I want to encourage new people to be on the top of the leaderboard. So um, I think that's about it in terms of this update for you guys in the space event. Um, I've been enjoying these beginner guides and I'll continue them probably in a week or two. Um, we're going to start working on the heroics and show you guys how to work in the heroics with your beginner's deck uh, when you're finished with a space event. Um, you can do the heroics as well while the events are going on, but um, I wanted to wait until after I finish the uh, normal events to talk about the heroic events. All right, well, thank you guys so much for your time. I hope you have a good rest of your day, and uh, yeah, take care. All right, bye.